This past Sunday, minds across our state were up in the clouds and on social media. Was it a UFO? Was it a space jellyfish? One of our viewers even asked if Rihanna finally found the diamond in the sky. For those of you, though, who guessed it was a balloon, you were right. But what kind of balloon? A question only NASA could answer. So what folks are seeing is, uh, is, is the, one of our launches from, from Fort Sumner, New Mexico. The resting place of famous outlaw Billy the Kid is also a launching place for this. And on Sunday, people from eastern to western New Mexico, even Arizona, were staring up into the sky and wondering, what is that? Well, it's a scientific balloon from NASA. And turns out you may have already seen one of these launches and not known it. Fort Sumner has been an annual launch campaign um, since the early 80s. Um, and so, so we come down every year, and I think, uh, I think we, we get inquiries, um, certainly almost every year. But, um, but no, we, our campaign typically um, has about um, five to ten launch uh, missions. Gabriel Garde is the chief of the NASA Balloon Program Office. He says, keep your eyes on the skies between um, August through October, and, um, and we're, we're launching, um, you know, about one a week or so. So what do these balloons actually do? The helium-filled balloons carry scientific instruments right into the edge of space. Those instruments study everything from astronomy to the atmosphere. And just in time for Balloon Fiesta, here's a fun fact. You say chase crew, right? So same same thing same principle applies for um, for hot air balloons as for scientific balloons. Um, so once we launch it, we have folks um, that are heading out on the road to recover. And scientific balloons can get the red flag too. Ballooning takes a very particular um, set of conditions, right? For for launch, not only are we looking at ground conditions, uh, but but these these balloons, which are you know considerably large, right? That Fully inflated, these balloons can fill up a, a football stadium. And if you're one of the few who did not see the balloon Sunday, NASA wants you to know this. We are actively monitoring it, working um, working with the FAA and, and, and our other partners uh, to, to ensure that you know we maintain communication and, and safely bring down the missions. That's, that's how we've been able to operate you know, in New Mexico for, for so long so and across the world. Another fun fact for you, these scientific balloons normally don't glow. That was the other part of the mystery on Sunday. The color of that balloon is usually like a whitish cream. And when the sun's light hit the surface, the light reflects at the same angle, kind of like a mirror, which is why it was so bright and shiny. <laughs>